Hello you guys, it's Aaron here and today I'm doing a special Transformers video review on Pepsi Convoy also known as Pepsi Optimus Prime and before I get on with this review I'd like to wish everyone a very 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 happy new year and I hope that 2012 is going to be a great year for everyone so to get on with this um, video review um, I'm going to show you guys the, um, the box art that came with it along with everything else a bit later but this is the box art um, um, for Pepsi Optimus Prime or as the Japanese named him Pepsi Convoy because Convoy is um, up G1 Optimus Prime's Japanese name and that's how the Japanese name Optimus Prime who's this guy and you can tell um, he's Pepsi Convoy by the Pepsi symbol and he's driven um, there's um, G1 Optimus Prime or did I say G1 Optimus Prime? I meant Pepsi Convoy drinking a lemon flavoured Pepsi Cola from a Pepsi Twist bottle imported from Japan and this is my very one of my very top favourite Transformers G1 reissues and he looks real real cool and I'm very very impressed by the box art I really am impressed and I like this Transformer a lot and I enjoy drinking Pepsi Cola a lot and um, if you look closely at the bottom of his um, picture of his um, truck form um, he does have a um, num Pepsi Convoy has a number plate um, in his um, Frights Liner 202 truck form and a belt buckle um, on his waist while Pepsi Convoy is in robots form on top of the box, you get the same pick of Pepsi Convoy in his truck form, and there's a lemon flavoured Pepsi Twist bottle, which is about, um, which weighs about, it's full of um, uh, 500 millilitres. Um, and, it, and I haven't tried lemon flavoured Pepsi Twist, but if I do, um, when I go to Japan one day, I'll, I'll be sure to um, do a short video on it sent via iPod Touch um, while I'm in Japan someday. And blue background here on this box here, pick of Pepsi Convoy in his robot form, and another pick of Pepsi Convoy in his Frights Liner 202 truck form attached to a massive Pepsi Cola trailer. If you look closely, um, G1 Pepsi Convoy has an Autobot sticker on his right shoulder and a Pepsi sticker on his left because the word Pepsi is at the top and underneath is the white, red and blue Pepsi symbol underneath the word Pepsi. And he does look real cool and he does have real cool um, blue stripes on both his, both his arms along with the Pepsi symbols on his knees and his feet. Like so. And this lot, um, this lot I'm still, trans I'm still thinking about translating from Japanese into English and Hopefully I'll be able to translate it all the right way and if I um if it's gonna take me a long time for everyone to see um, the English full proper English um translation of all this um info um I do um apologize if it's gonna be take it's going to take me too long. And the people at Hasbro decided not to add a picture of the um, bottle cap set um for on the instructions for the Hasbro release of Pepsi Optimus Prime reissue has been released in the summer of 2007 in honour of the live action Transformers film because the bottle caps um, because the um, Gundam characters on the Pepsi Lemon Twist bottle caps and the tr Transformer characters on the um, top of the bottle caps are, Jap are from Jap are Japanese only and this is the original picture of the original G1 Pepsi Optimus Prime um, pack and it's got some Pepsi stickers on both his both sides of his G1 trailer which is very very rare and very hard to find which is a bit of a big shame um, that would be real cool if, they, um, if the original G1 Optim Optimus Prime Pepsi version was released in shops by now but disappointing 
news is that they're not because they're very priced, very, very priced and very rare, very hard to find. But as for the um, the 500 milliliter bottle cap set along with the um, 300 milliliter can set, these two picks were both featured um, on the US um, Pepsi Optimus Prime instructions. It looks real cool. And on this side, red background, because red is my favorite color, you also have same pick of Pepsi Convoy in his robot form and, and bottle of a 500 milliliter lemon flavored Pepsi Twist bottle, which I can't wait to try someday. And he does look real cool. So now that we've um, got the box out of the way, I'm going to show you guys what else he comes with. Now this is the character card that he comes with and he looks look real cool and the box art, again, I am very, very, very impressed with. And at the back, it shows you all the info on Pepsi Convoy, which I've managed to translate from English into Japanese. It nearly took me about four years, five years to translate from English into Japanese. It does look real I mean, the picture of Pepsi Convoy in his robot form and another picture of Pepsi Convoy in his Frightliner 202 truck form attached to a Pepsi trailer looks real cool. And took nearly took me forever to translate all of this um, info from Japanese into English. And I am very, very, very thrilled that I've managed to translate it um, from English into Japanese. Well, from Japanese to English, sorry, the right way. And nearly took me and and I've managed to trans managed to translate it um on and the um English translation of all this um um Pepsi convoy info um via Facebook and via tfw two thousand five dot com. But, but I might need to take a bit bit more while, well, might need to take a bit more time to um, translate from English into, translate all this from English into Japanese the proper way. But, no, but, um, yeah, still need a bit more practice translating or translating from Japanese into English. And, and what else does Pepsi Convoy also come with? That's real simple. Not only does he come with one character card, he also comes with a set of stickers, which I'm not going to apply onto. I'm keeping these stickers unused. And these two parts for um, these two parts of his um, stick, blue and white um, stripes for Pepsi Convoy's arms, I am not going to apply onto because they get damaged, they get dented, and they peel off easily. And the same with these two Pepsi symbols, well, Pepsi stickers actually which I am not going to apply on to. So if, I'm if I want to buy myself some Pepsi Optimus Prime stickers, I have to log, log on to eBay and buy them myself. Plus it also comes with a set of instructions. And sorry if I've got, I'm, I apologize if I've got the instructions upside down. And um, this bottom pack um, shows you where to store um, Pepsi Convoy's CO2 soda gun and his fists at, underneath his trailer. Well, where, as the arrows are showing you where to put them when G1 Pepsi Convoy is in his truck form. And he looks real cool. And as I said before, the bottle caps version um, is Japan only because the people at Hasbro decided for, that. Um, um, the bottle cap set um, was un unsuitable, unacceptable for the. Um, un I think unacceptable for the um, for their um, reissue of Pepsi Co Pepsi Optimus Prime in the US. But these two, however, are these two, however, they are acceptable. And on these, and if you look at this picture closely, it shows you which um, stickers go wear on Pepsi Convoy, but I'm not going to do that. Because as I said before, I'm keeping the stickers unused. So now we've got the instructions and the box out of the way. Now now we've got the box and the paperwork out of the way, let's get on with 
Pepsi Convoy. So now we've got the 500 milliliter Pepsi bottle in Pepsi Convoy's trailer because the Pepsi um, bottle cap is facing right. And you can also um, um, place a 500 milliliter Pepsi bottle in this way or many other ways. You can place your Pepsi bottle can this way because this is a 500 milliliter Pepsi bottle can. You can place the first one horizontally like this, the second one in the middle again horizontally, and the third. So that's the 500 milliliter Pepsi bottle can set as Pepsi Convoy's first alternate formation. Let's get on with the second alternate formation where Pepsi Convoy has the 330 milliliter Pepsi Cola can set. Now this is the this is Pepsi Convoy in his truck form where he has the 330 milliliter Pepsi Cola can set and you can also fit um, three can also fit not only three um, um, up to three um, Pepsi Cola cans that are 350 milliliters, 330 milliliters, but you can also fit some um, some Budweiser cans, well, up to three Budweiser cans along with three um, Holston Pills cans and three Foster's cans, three Guinness cans, and three Pepsi um, Max cans like these. One, two, three. And you can also fit, and you can also fit up to three braces of three Sprite cans, Sprite 350 milliliter ca soda cans, along with three Coca-Cola Zero 350 milliliter cans, along with three Dr Pepper 330 milliliter cans, and you can also fit up to three yeah you can also fit up to three um, Sprite 350 330 milliliter cans in Pepsi Convoy's trailer like this where Pe Pepsi Convoy is in his truck form and this is Pepsi Convoy's second alternate formation where he has three so three 330 milliliter soda cans and second formation and third formation where Pepsi Convoy has the bottle caps with the um, Gundam characters and Transformers characters as I've said before are in only available in Japan but not in the United Kingdom, Europe, the United States of America, Canada and not available in France which is a bit, which is a bit of a big big shame so now I'm going to transform Pepsi Convoy from his Frightline 202 truck form into his robot form. Now for many Transformers fans who know how to transform G1 Optimus Prime from his truck form into his robot form is real simple. And for those who don't, watch and learn. Now the Japanese Pepsi Optimus Prime reissue is based on the original Hasbro 1985 um, original Pepsi Optimus Prime toy. Um, except um, the um, the original 1985 version had no Pepsi symbol on his left shoulder and no Pepsi number plate and no Pepsi colours for his Frontliner 202 truck form. And now, and he also does have a secret emblem which I'm going to rub right now. See if this is Autobot or Decepticon. And it's coming up as an Autobot. So yes, Pepsi Convoy is an Autobot. And Pepsi Convoy has Autobot symbols um, painted on his right shoulder and the Pepsi symbol on his left. And the only difference between the Hasbro version and the um, Japanese version, I will tell you all about um, after I've transformed Pepsi Convoy from his vehicle form into his truck um, robot form. He does have a um, Pepsi number plate, which is real cool, along with um, Pepsi symbols upside down, 
um, as his backlights or rear lights as you like to call them. So transform so how do we transform Pepsi Convoy from his truck form into his robot form? Now that is a really good question. Start off by rotating the back this side of his um his truck form 90 degrees and always make sure that these two feet are pointing downwards. Next come up to his um rear lights and rotate them 90 degrees to form his feet and always make sure that the Pepsi symbols on his feet and his knees are facing you. Come up to his headlights, rotate them 90 degrees vertically and again rotate these upper arms 90 degrees so that both the Pepsi symbol and the Autobot symbol are facing you. Do the same on this side. Bring arms down. Next, what you want to do, attach one of his fists into these little holes here, like you do with the Transformers G1 reissues, along with the G1 Optimus Prime reissue, G1 Ultra Magnus reissue, and the um, 25th anniversary Optimus Prime reissue. And then, if you have any diaclone drives, you can only fit up to two diaclone drivers or the Autobots matrix of leadership when Optimus Prime is in his truck form or robot form. And then what you also do, come up to this part of his truck where he has the secret emblem on top, rotate that section 80 degrees, well, 270 degrees actually, then clip it into place, and there you have G1 Pepsi Optimus Prime in his robot form, and can also fit his CO2 soda gun in any of his two hands, but I prefer to fit mine in here. Plus, um, another great um, thing about Pepsi Convoy is that he has Pepsi symbols on both his left ears and his right ears as his headphones. And he does look real cool, and I'm very, very, very impressed. And I absolutely like, uh, I, I am absolutely crazy about this Transformer. G1 reissue a lot because it's one of my very very top favorite Transformers G1 reissues. Now I'm going to now I'm going to put Pepsi Convoy aside and show you guys what to you guys what is the difference between the Japanese version and the American version. Now what is the difference between the Japanese reissue and the American reissue? Well, that is a really good question because the American reissue had short smoke stacks due to American toy safety laws and the Pepsi globe at the top here looks at the top here and got the word Pepsi underneath so the people of Hasbro decided to um, add the um, Pepsi um, globe symbol at the top here and the word Pepsi underneath the Pepsi globe and how do I know this is a Jap American version? That's simple short simple because the American version of the Pepsi Optimus Prime issue has short smokestacks and different stickers, which is real cool. Same size, same size as stickers, but same all spot symbol for the back of G1 Optimus Prime's trailer, and the Pepsi stickers and the arms for Pepsi um, Optimus Prime. Here, the American version looks different compared to the Japanese version. But apart from that, but apart from that. Both toys and the packaging are all the same, except um, the pictures are pictures are a bit different. And what can I say about the, both the American version of Pepsi Optimus Prime reissue and the Japanese Pepsi Optimus Prime reissue, aka Pepsi Convoy, as the Japanese named Pepsi Optimus Prime here? Well, they they are very very cool, and Pepsi Optimus Prime is a must for all Transformers fans so if, if you're a big um, Pepsi Optimus Prime fan and a big Optimus Prime fan then I seriously suggest keeping an eye out for Pepsi um, Convoy here along with Pepsi Optimus Prime via eBay and, uh, and other places like Amazon.com and of course eBay as well so plus you can also keep an eye out for the um, um, Japanese um, Pepsi Optimus Prime reissue again from other places like exibertoys.com along with 
toy arena. And um, Marks at a time I give Pepsi Convoy along with the US version of Pepsi Optimus Prime reissue a big 10 out of 10 because no Transformers collection should be complete with no Transformers collections complete with that Pepsi Optimus Prime. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and um, please let me know what you guys think of this video. So hope you guys enjoyed it yourselves. Please let me know what you guys think of this video. Have a great um, have a great new year and um, stay safe and um, it also really really meant a lot to me for you guys um, 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 shared this um, video with all um, with all Transformers fans and um, and everyone else via Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and on MySpace because that would really 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 mean a lot to me so hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and um, I'll see you guys again real soon and um, my next um, Transformers video reviews are Rodimus Prime along with Sideswipe along with Encore Devastator Ruination my updated video review on Hasbro Commemorative Series 1 Ultra Magnus along with my updated reviews on Star Convoy Encore Bumblebee and Minibot set along with the Transformers Collection 010 Optimus Prime along with Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime along with Galvatron reissue and the, my updated review on Classic Voyager Optimus Prime um, action figure and that's my Transformers video review lineup for 2012 via YouTube channels Aaron 1984 2009 G1 Optimus Convoy 1984 and Aaron Nation 1984 via YouTube so so far and um, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and um, see you guys next time for more Transformers reviews and um, you guys take care of yourselves and remember to drink Pepsi because Pepsi Cola is absolutely delicious See you soon.